a Protestant in the Pope's newspaper. This is the subtitle of the book, Reconciled Diversity, by the Argentinian writer Marcelo Figueroa. The book is a collection of 100 columns he wrote in the Observatorio Romano over the course of six years. My intention was to try to bring an ecumenical perspective to a pope who has made ecumenism and interreligious dialogue fundamental to his pontificate, and moreover, a very exquisite tool of Vatican diplomacy. Marcelo and Pope Francis have been working together for interreligious dialogue for more than 20 years. When the pope lived in Argentina, they shared a television program called Bible, Current Dialogue, together with a Jewish rabbi. For Marcelo, the Pope has the same spirit as the Jorge Bergoglio he shared the set with, but he recognizes he has changed some due to his current role as Pope. For me, it has been a journey to try to understand some of these changes. Obviously, Francis is still Bergoglio, but the way to understand him is not the same as understanding Pope Francis, because now he has access to information, formation, and has experienced sudden changes in the world. He has a panoramic vision. I think the greatest challenge for me was trying to understand his changes, his way of adapting to reality. In the prologue of the book, Marcelo says that the Pope reads each of his columns carefully. They are friends and see each other from time to time. In March, the author visited Pope Francis at the Vatican, and he came again just recently when he presented him with the book. The fact is that he always has the ability to transform a meeting that may seem very formal, the official presentation of a book, and immediately turn it into a family event. And how are your children? This is something very beautiful and precious. I value that. Marcelo Figueroa has been writing for the Vatican Daily newspaper Osservatori Romano for the past nine years. He is the first Protestant to collaborate with this newspaper. No.